Okay, so it's that time of the day. The one that I like, right? The, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Butchie Franklin, an actor and OAP. Now, what's OAP? On air personality. He's a graduate of theater arts from the University of Abuja. In 2015, he was nominated Best Lead Actor, Best Upcoming Actor at the Annual Africa Film and Music Festival. It's featured in several movies and television series, including Tinsel, Knockout Blessing, and others. After school, he ventured into the world of presentation, making his first appearance on air as a presenter at the multi-mesh broadcasting company, owners of Love FM 104.5. He's one of their first OAPs, and he's co-anchored the morning show, and then went on and on and on and on to do different things. He's one of those people who actually is practicing what he studied. So we should... What about... Ring, we don't have a bell, so we should clap for him, right? <laughs> for a change. For a change. We have. <laughs> Please, ladies and gentlemen, Butchie Franklin. Thank you that so much. That is not how to clap. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, one, two, go. <laughs> what was this? <laughs> no, that's what we <laughs> Thank you so Good much. Good to see you. Same here, man. Coach. Uh, oh. <clears throat> I didn't know he was a coach. Okay, coach. Well, coach, 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 how are you? That's I'm his great. role in Tinsel. I'm great. Okay, so great. from OAP, uh, can I ask you a very nice question? Oh my God, that's nothing nice about that question right now. Go ahead, sir. On live TV. <laughs> can we see your eyes? Oh, my eyes. Okay, sure, sure. That's yeah, I, I, hope, I, I hope you can see because they're really small. Now I recognize you. Oh, oh, oh wow. Yeah. Fine boy, no pimple. Oh, no, wow. no, no, there's a pimple somewhere. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> damn that. Excuse oh, yeah. my French. Uh, well, that pimple. damn that. <laughs> <laughs> so, but how are you? I'm great. I'm great. It's, it's, it's really, really excited to be here. You know, I always watch you guys on TV, and uh, this for me is my first. So, yeah, it's good uh, to meet you. Good. I work with Hi. her. And it's nice to be on the other side, right? Yeah, yes, yes. Now yes. we are asking the questions, not oh, you. Yes. <clears throat> I'll get used to that now. <laughs> so please, how quickly would it take you to get used to it? Because I'm about to fire one. Well, um, three, two, one, let's go. Good. So what's it like? What do you feel? What's it like being a star? A star. No, don't tell me. Don't know. <laughs> well, I don't. Uh, well, I thought you were going to ask him, what's that? <laughs> I swear, star. <laughs> I, I mean, I get what you mean, but <laughs> I don't, I see myself. Okay, let's put it this way. I mean, simple. Do you, ever, do you ever get used to he's, that? He's ah, job. it's I mean, you. Yeah, I saw you. It's, it's, it comes with the job. Yeah. You know, so, so Nigerians are very. It's normal. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's okay. It's normal. We're very. We're excited. It's a normal way of yes, life. It, yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Humbling. Yeah. Very, very. That they see what we do and appreciate it, you know, fantastic. even with everything going on. So, you know, it's a blessing. So really when, when, when you take that script and you look through it, what's the picture in your head? Delivering the lines or getting someone who's going to see that movie or whatever it is you're going to fall in love with? I don't know if you can see my eyes. I always get emotional when, I, when I'm being asked this question because for me, this is uh, my form of evangelism. You know, my source is God. That's where I get my everything from, mm -hmm. you know. So I, I look forward to uh, educating, informing, entertaining uh, my audience, you know, to, to the best of my capability. So it's, it's always a... It's always, it's always mind-blowing for me. I get excited. I get excited inside of me when I get a script and uh, a character that I'm in love with, you know, because I have to fall in love with the character first before anything, no matter the price. Yeah, I said so. <laughs> you know, you have to be in love with the character first. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you went from being an OAP yes, to being an actor. Yes, ma'am. How did that happen? Walk us through that. I uh, studied theatre arts in the University of Abuja, um, got out of school, been taking care <coughs> of myself, paying my bills, and a friend ringed me and said, yo, you've got a great voice, you can do radio. I know that's not all it takes to be a broadcaster, but he said that and uh, hooked me up with um, Crowder, then Crowder FM 104.5, got bought over by Multimesh Broadcasting Company and became Love FM. So. I did, in, I did an internship for a couple of months, 
and the rest is history. Voila. You know? Yeah, I worked. No, with you haven't got into acting <laughs> yet. No, no, I want no. to know how you left that and went into acting. I, I, I studied acting has always been. I started from church, so it's always been, you know, uh, everything for me. Yeah. So she don't know because <laughs> <laughs> the church rats. Yes, I am. Pastor Neil. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. Mm. That's, that's for the flock. Oh. Flo oh. Remember, there's a flock okay. somewhere. Oh, oh wow. The flock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hi, flock. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I, I used to live in Abuja. I spent ten years in Abuja, so um, working my way around the broadcasting industry in Abuja wasn't a hassle because I had a few friends, and um, so they hooked me up with uh, the people in Crowd IFM. I did internship for a couple of months that I work in, and uh, I loved every minute working with Crowd FM 104.5 now Love FM. You know, they, they taught me a lot, a lot. And it, yes, they did actually, because it helped me, you know, in my uh, acting career, you know, okay. playing with my voice and all of that. Yeah. It's... So how did the acting <clears throat> come about? Um, I, so my friend told me about um, a reality TV show. Sorry, was, please. Yeah. You know what you said? My friend told me about the yeah. radio thing. Yeah. The boys yeah. <laughs> my friend told, told me about, about the acting. acting. Yeah. Acting. yeah. Please, can I meet some of these friends? They're yeah, really sweet. I, I have amazing people around me. So, uh, okay, this public service announcement. <laughs> I'm changing all my friends. <laughs> I mean, why would you tell me about... I'm, are you listening to this? <laughs> Such good friends. You do so have good friends. They have been so. useless? I didn't, I, I didn't Is that what you're saying? Huh? Is that what you're saying? To them that they have been useless to you? No, the no. Flock. I did say I have, I have good friends. I said, why do you tell me about these things? Yes, these happening. acting, right, right, the right. voicing. You know, they tell me about other things, but you're telling me about some. So what about the movie? Juicy stuff. <laughs> some juicy stuff, like the acting thing. I like that. Bit. Well, anyway, so she, she called me up, Sarah Lawal, uh, said I should uh, enroll in this um, the Spirited Actor reality TV show that was meant to take five Nigerians to the U.S. for, for training and uh, packed my bags, hopped on the plane, didn't know where I was going to stay, uh, came to Lagos to get it. Didn't come to Lagos to join the uh, movie industry here. Mm. Was ready to take <laughs> off. <laughs> Hollywood, here you mm -hmm. come. But God had better plans. So okay. did that, emerged uh, top five, <clears throat> you know, was meant to go to the U.S. And God said, you're going to have to meet Ayo Makung EY, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, so that didn't work. So I stayed back in Lagos, you know, head down, praying, oh God, why, and all that. And she called me again and said, yo, EY is doing a sitcom, go for it. I'm like, no, I'm not here to do sitcom sis method. I didn't know what I was saying that. <laughs> so, so I went for it and uh, fell in love with EY and of course, he did the same, and we did AY Scream in 2013, uh, season one of it. So that's how I stayed back in Lagos. And to God be the glory, here I am now with you beautiful people. A guy packs up his bags from Abuja and is looking to go to the US. The, the abroad, as they say. <laughs> to go to the abroad. And he ends up in, in Lagos. The, yeah. And he's very happy about it. Oh, yeah. And he's okay with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There are very few young people like you, you know. Because many people, many young people, their eyes are just, I just got to get out of this place, man. I, mean, I just got to <clears throat> get out of this place. I mean, we're, we're not perfect, you know. You, yes, you want to, you want your goals and dreams to come to pass, but uh, the big man has better plans for you. Oh, sure. Always. You know, sure. in, in, uh, in all that you've been saying, yeah. you've consistently used, God said, the big man. Yeah. You've consistently used. Yeah. So I'm one bound to say that you're a person of faith. Yes, I am. I hold your faith very seriously. Oh, yeah. How does that tie into what you do? Because there are some scenes in acting that mm -hmm. someone will say, that doesn't go with his faith. Right. How can you tell me that person is a person of faith? having to do that. I'm entertaining you. Don't, don't, don't take it too serious, you know. So, I mean, it's a gift. It's a gift. So, and like I said earlier, my sauce is God. So, uh, this is my form of evangelism, right? <coughs> uh, I mean, let's, let's be real right now. 
Nigeria, Lagos, isn't really in a happy place, sort of. Nigeria know? isn't yeah. in a happy place. Ooh, my goodness. <clears throat> but thank God for the likes of great musicians, great entertainers, comedians, actors, you know, uh, creative minds, basically, you know, doing their best to try and quail their minds so that people don't go crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. So, so that's, that's, uh, that for me, I'm really big on doing my best to make everything around me positive, happy. That's why we're here. We're here to just love each other. Okay. You know, the best All that right. we can. You're an actor. Yes. The things that happened in the previous week, some have called them have all manner of things, but if it were a movie, you were part of a movie that's coming out real soon, oh, yeah, like absolutely. the Ahana movie. Yeah. If it were a movie, it would be something like Ahana, yes. who broke out, it's like a protest. Yeah. Tell us about that movie. Who? I mean, God, I have seen the old question. one. Yeah. I'm waiting for this new one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was, I was watching the... Uh, the, the sitting. Yeah, the sitting, and it's really disturbing. Uh, rattlesnake. Thank God for rattlesnake. That's what we need right now. You know, that, um, being, uh, that project, believe me, this show isn't enough. I don't have enough time to tell you guys <laughs> what your brothers and sisters, your sons and daughters came. I put together. Yeah, I put together. It's, um, it's mind-blowing. Having to create during this period, it was, it was, <laughs> I can only say it was God, you know. Um, so it's a remake. It's not a sequel. Okay. Right. So you, you have um, Ramsey Noah, the director. <laughs> yes, I put a smile on my face. And <laughs> I thank God for him. Uh, he's an actor's director, so he made it really, really easy for all of us, all the actors, both young and old, you know, to be able to uh, d d display their, their characters. Now, the story, of course, is about a young boy trying to make um, ends meet. In a, in a, in Was a, that Nengi? Yes, it is Nengi. Yes, it is. Yeah. There's a lot, there's a deep story to that, but I will not say it here. Okay. Yeah, you just need to watch the film <laughs> when it comes out November 13th. So, like, yeah, like I was saying, uh, basically it's a, it's a story about a young man that wants to uh, make, uh, make money for himself and his family members, you know, make something good about himself, but along the line gets crossed by a lot of um, obstacles. Because if I open my mouth and say anything, that's the whole film. <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole film. So, yeah, a lot, okay. a lot of it. Lot okay. Of it. So okay. Uh, we, we shot in Nigeria and South Africa. We, we, we were blessed with the best. I'm not going to, I'm not gassing you guys. I like this. We, were, we had the best, the best. So this, it, this for me is the biggest film of the century. Mm. I'm not. Not because I'm oh, on the it. Century. I'm telling you. Oh, the, centu the century hundred. just started. I really don't care, love. <laughs> it's the biggest. <laughs> it's the biggest. Woo! I'm, I'm finding it difficult. I hope the people that I'm working with now won't see this. I'm finding it difficult to unlearn Nze, unlearn Ahana, unlearn Rattlesnake, because it has become a part of me. It's a movement. It's not just entertainment anymore. You know, we shot this film not knowing that uh, 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 somebody would let p uh, army officers shoot at unarmed, you know, protesters. And we, uh, there's a scene there, or rather there's a monologue that Ahana uh, 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 carries out in the film. And it's, I'm just thinking and talking about it alone has, has got me, sh you know, a bit shaky because we didn't know, like we, nobody expected this, this, uh, man, I don't know what to call it, or this bad air that happened uh, weeks back, mm. you know, so it was, it was crazy because we're talking about, oh, this movie's meant to come out November 13th and <clears throat> some clowns decided to act the fool, you know, and, and while we were talking and we remembered the monologue that Ahana, uh, uh, that's Stan Nze, fantastic mm. actor, by the way, uh, 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 did in the film. You know, and Meanwhile, I know him. Oh, you know, that's good. Personal day, I know oh, him. Oh, that's right. I understand. <laughs> You're extremely famous now. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so, yeah. But he's got a beautiful voice. Oh. I'm going to be a man about it. 
<clears throat> so Stan's voice, no, I love his voice. I can't hold it. Stan's like, voice is, is everything. Wow. Everything. I... But do you know he's also a beautiful tainer? Ever heard him sing? Oh, okay, you know Stan now. Oh, he said, well, with, okay, so with that what, kind of so, voice. Okay, I'm jealous. Saying, uh, <laughs> he played my best friend. He should sing. He that's, should. that's my boy. You don't know him, but I, I do. <laughs> really? He's a great actor. He's a great actor. Mm. He carried this film on his shoulder. And that's what every actor is meant to do. If you're watching, that's what you need to be doing, mm. man. That so, boy is something else. You're the, you did this film. It's more or less like moved you from, as you said in your words, moved you from one realm to another, mm. and you're finding it difficult to even return to the other. Are you ready for the aftermath? Oh, yes, I am. I'm an actor. Uh, <laughs> but you say you're finding it difficult Great, yeah. even getting out of that set. Yeah, because so, it's like a relationship, you know, one that you put everything in, every single Ah, week. love story. Yeah, it's okay. a serious love story. I tell them every day, like, you guys have no clue how much I love you right now, because Inze is the best friend of Ahana, you know, so I had to fall in love with Stan and Z, the right way, of course, mm -hmm. you um, know. And you were, his which role did you play? Nze. Okay. Yeah, his best friend. Okay. The troublemaker. That's <laughs> <laughs> the character, not me. <laughs> so I had to literally, you know, find him, because prior to meeting Stan, we've never worked before, you know, so it was my first time and I could notice that, oh, okay, I'm not really sure. That's what the vibe I was getting for him. I'm not really sure about Bucci. You know, we're here to work. Let's just get it over with. But like he said in um, in um, the video that he put out, the, the making of Ahana, he wasn't sure about me, you know, and I didn't know that because I was coming on strong, so just like the character. Yeah. Exactly, you know, yeah. and and the both of us, <laughs> um, F.I. Wara Inclusive, Osasi Gadaro, and Mekawa Barocha, Odera, you know, the Amadas, we all, we all became a family, you know. I'm so sad they are not here, by the way. <laughs> okay, don't worry. You see, what, what we're going to do... Were you at Lekki Tolgate, by the way? No, I wasn't. Okay, all right. I <clears> wish <throat> I was. Um, okay, so... On that day, I wish I was. Oh, so what's uh, going to happen is, we would see if it's possible. This set won't be enough to carry the Amadas. It, we will, it won't, we, we, we will have work to. it out. We'll be, we'll, 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 we'll be <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. But when we're ready, okay. we'll let you know. But thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you. For we're that. speaking with Bucci Franklin, an actor and an on-air personality. Should we still call you on-air personality? You're an actor. I'm an actor. Oh, thank you. Okay. So Bucci Franklin is an actor, and he's so emotional about this movie that they, that's coming out shortly. Rattlesnake. The Rattlesnake. Uh -huh, nice and, uh, the Ahana story. story. Yes. You need to stand by and watch it when it comes out. November but thank 15. you so much for coming. In. Yes, thank you thank for you. having me. And, and that rounds up our show for today. Yes, um, indeed. I'm Alero. I do wishing you all the best. And see you next month. And don't forget, be the best that you can be. And don't forget to wash your hands and use a sanitizer and wear your mask. Mm -hmm. The COVID-19 is still around, I promise mm -hmm. you. Bye. And as we were saying earlier, when the show started, remember that you can't be a team alone. It takes mm -hmm. a team to survive. It takes the ground for the tree to put its roots in. So the tree and the ground are a team. If you think you can survive alone, you're dead. Teamwork is team life. is living all the same. So God bless you. Have yourself a beautiful rest of the day. I'm Neo Taibwe. Love your nation. Love your neighbor. Love yourself. Be all you can be. God bless you. Bye.